please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It helps. It really does. Hello, food lovers. It's good you're here. Fico Fee, more famously known as Philip Carl Fee, was born on the 19th of June, 1949 in Hong Kong. His family moved to mainland China while he was still a baby. As a young boy, he would begin his training in Choi Food Kung Fu. Shortly after, he would enroll at the University of China, where he pursued commerce and liberal arts. However, he would complete his final years of university studies in Hong Kong. In order to sustain himself and get back, Ao Fei worked as an instructor in theatre and film, and as a waiter in a restaurant. One day he met a friend who worked at a famous Shaw Brothers studio. With a little encouragement from his friend, he would join the studio. His first role was as a dead body. It was in 1970 that he made his first credited film debut as a guard in the movie Heroic Ones, starring David Chan. Carr would work as both a stuntman and big part actor in many of Shaw Brothers' early martial arts films, as well as with many other producers. He can even be seen in Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon. During the mid-70s, Kao Fei would work for other film companies where he played more supporting roles. He could be seen in seasonal films, The Secret Rivals Part 2, First International Films, The Hot, The Cool and The Vicious, and Lie Wise, The Invincible Armor, to name a few. Two early attempts were made on the Taiwanese market to make Kao Fei into a leading man. In 1973, he was given the lead role in the movie, Return of the Hero of the Waterfront. Then again in 1974's Blood Revenge. Unfortunately, those films did not perform well enough on the Hong Kong market to give Kao Fei leading man status. Kao Fei has had a very strange trajectory as an actor. Strange in the sense that, although in the mind of the movie goers, he was already a star, it was not uncommon to see him in a movie such as Green Jade Statue in 1978 as a common thug. Then as the main bad guy in the movie, Dragon on Fire, also in 1978. Gold films gave Kao the chance to shine as both the hero and the villain. In Tiger Over War, he would take on the super kicker, Huang Zhang Li. The end fight in this movie is considered by many to be one of the best Kung Fu film fights of the late 70s or period. Meanwhile, in Duel of the Seven Tigers, he can be seen playing a Japanese karate expert on a mission to show the superiority of karate over Kung Fu. In the late 70s and early 80s, Kao Fei would collaborate with Gordig and star in many films that are now considered to be classic by the lovers of the Kung Fu movie genre. Movies like Two Wanderers Tigers, 1977, co-starring Jan Chan, Duel of the Seven Tigers, 1979, Tiger Over War, 1980, and Two on the Road, 1980, co-starring Wang Long Wei and Leon Kayan, another frequent collaborator whose team-ups with Kao Fei are legendary. Kao Fei will continue his transition from the classic Kung Fu era to the modern-day martial arts action films, where he could be seen taking on the lights of Jackie Chan in Dragons Forever and Heart of the Dragon, and many of Joseph Lai's IFT ninja films. Kao Fei made his debut as a director with the 1982 film, Dirty Angel, in which he also starred along with Norman Chu and Danny Lee. After that movie, he would continue to direct other films, such as Millennium Dragon, Guns N' Roses, and Final Run. Having starred in 251 movies, directing 54 movies, action director of 27 movies, writer of 11 movies, and producer of 28 movies, not to mention many more credits and accolades. It is no exaggeration to state that Philip Kao Fee fulfilled his purpose and his destiny, and in doing so, became a legend of martial arts cinema. In the mid-1990s, Kao Fee relocated to the Philippines where he continued to make movies, some starring his ex-wife, Japanese icon, Yukari Oshima. Kao Fei had become a jack of all trades in the Hong Kong movie industry, and so, by March 30th, 2017, when he transcended to another realm, he had conquered every genre of Hong Kong cinema. But his most lasting impression has without a doubt been to martial arts cinema. To Philip Kao Fei we say, rest in peace and thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and may the food be with you.